。第廿五條咧就睇翻留下呢個 graph 嘅，咁 x a s s e s 咧就係喺我哋嘢食入面有幾多嘅食用纖維啦，而 y a s s e s 咧就係呢個嘢食咧留喺我哋個大腸嘅時間嘅。紅色線咧就係佢少一啲嘅食用纖維，咁啊留長啲嘅時間，多啲嘅食用纖維咧就留短啲嘅時間。嗱，有個基本概念先。咁題目就問翻啦，下面 A、B、C、D 咧。邊一個係一個正確嘅推論啦？咁當然又係考翻我哋噶啦，分得清咧咩叫觀察，咩叫做推理。咁而家個觀察係啲咩嘢呢？就係、是、當我哋食嗰餐飯咧，越係多嘅食用纖維咧，咁嗰啲嘢食咧逗留喺我哋大腸嘅時間咧就係短一啲嘅。咁其實個推論就自不然咧，其實如果我哋食嘅嘢係越少嘅。食用纖維咧，佢哋逗留喺個大腸嘅時間就越長啦。其實我只係將佢倒翻轉嚟講啫嘛。咁但係你用翻嗰句做 observation 做推論，其實都可以喎。嚇，我食嘅嘢越多食用纖維，咁咪逗留得越長時間咯，係完全一樣嘅。咁我哋做咗極破啦。A 咧佢就講啦，如果我哋食嗰餐飯咧係越係多食用纖維嘅話咧，就會令到個糞便咧零舍大嚿。呢一句咧本身係啱嘅，但係喺幅圖嗰度你鬼知道啲嘢食係咪大嚿咩？係咪？所以 A 係錯嘅。跟住到 B 啦，如果個餐飯咧係零舍多食用纖維嘅話咧，就能夠令我哋嘅糞便咧保存多一啲嘅水分，令佢軟一啲、哦。咁呢個咧本身都係正確嘅，但係幅圖嗰處佢有冇講到 water content 呢一樣嘢？又冇講到。咁即係 A 同 B 咧，其實咧就係、是、本身自己係啱，但係從個數據嚟睇咧係完全唔會得出呢啲推論嘅。跟住到 C 啦，就話咧當啲嘢食咧越係少嗰啲食用纖維嘅話咧，其實佢就越多養分、哦，所以咧就要逗留喺個大腸嘅時間咧就。長啲啦，就要完成曬個吸收。咁當然啦，呢度去考我哋咧，就係講緊究竟大腸嘅功能係啲咩嘢？佢就唔係攞嚟做食物吸收㗎，佢就係吸翻喺未被消化嘅嘢食嘅剩餘嘅水分，即係其實我哋屎嘅剩餘水分。咁所以到頭來咧，我上次當然係錯啦。咁啊，因為啦，大腸根本就唔係攞嚟吸嘢食。咁所以成個故事就係、是，如果我哋食嘅嘢係唔夠食用纖維嘅話啦，未被消化嘅嘢食咧，其實就唔夠大嚿去刺激腸臟嘅蠕動。咁所以啦，呢啲糞便啦或者未被消化嘅嘢食啦，就會逗留喺個大腸嘅時間長一啲。呢句唔係我吹㗎，呢個呢係實驗話俾我聽㗎。所以喺糞便入面嘅水分呢，就會就多啲呢俾人吸收咗。所以我哋到頭來個糞便呢，就會變得較為硬、較為乾啦。咁所以呢，我哋亦都有大啲機會呢，患有便秘。咁所以 C 都係錯，而答案呢就係 D 啦。Question t w refers to the graph below. It's showing that the relationship between the dietary fiber content of a meal. And the mean retention time in the large intestine. So you can see that x a s s is the dietary fiber content in the meal, and the y a s s will be the mean retention time. It means that the duration of which the undigested material stay in the large intestine. And the question is asking which of the following can be deduced from the graph. So for the skills checking, so we need to distinguish observation from inference. So what is the observation in this investigation? So you can see that if the dietary fiber content in the meal is very low, and the So we can see that the mean retention time will be longer, and if the dietary fiber content in the meal is higher, the mean retention time of the undigested food in the large intestine will be shorter. So we can see that the higher the dietary fiber content in the meal, the shorter the mean retention time is. So the deduction is that. The meals with less dietary fiber will stay in the large intestine for longer time, or we can reverse the idea. Meals with higher dietary fiber will stay in the large intestine for shorter time. So let's take a look at the options. Meals with more dietary fiber can increase the bulk of the feces. Of course, this statement is correct. But does the graph show you any data about the size of the feces? No. So that's why for option A is not correct. And for option B, the meals with more dietary fiber can hold more water, so soften the feces better. It's also correct itself. However, can you see the water content in the feces from the graph? You cannot. So that's why option B is also wrong. Both of them, they are correct statement. However, there is no evidence in the investigation for these two deductions. And then for the option C. Meals with less dietary fiber have more nutrients, so and a longer time is required for the complete absorption. Is checking our concept about the functions of the large intestine. Large intestine is not for food absorption. The main role of the large intestine is to absorb most of the remaining water from the undigested food. So the story should be like this: the meal with less dietary fiber, the undigested food is not that bulky enough to stimulate the peristalsis. Then the undigested food will stay in the large intestine for longer time, and then more water will be absorbed from the feces. As a result, the feces will become hard and dry. In the end, the patient will suffer from constipation. 
and it leads us to the option D. Mills with the less dietary fiber result in a harder feces due to the increased time for water absorption.